Good day, mates. Welcome back. Long time no see, uh, mainly because of doing so many hours at work, and um, just basically couldn't be asked. Uh, when I get in from work, it's much too late. Um, weekends just seem to fly by. So today's Friday. I've got a day off work, so. Um, I thought I'd slip this in. Um, I haven't really cracked on with the King Tiger. Uh, I was getting a bit bored with it, to be honest. So I've put that to one side. And uh, my next plan of action is to start on this baby that's behind me. So I'll give you a little... Uh, look at what it is and then we'll have a look inside the box okay i just need to stand up put the chair to one side because it's a biggie and it's this <laughs> one sixteenth tiger from Hobby Boss. It's a big old puppy. You can see the size of it against my body. Probably comes down to just before my waist. So it's probably nearly a metre long the box. Quite heavy. There's a lot of stuff in there. So let's have a little looky looky. What's in there? So that's how the box looks like when it's open. I've marked up a few of what's in it. There's the decals or decals, depending on what you want to call them. Just a big series of boxes all labelled and there's more underneath that as well uh, decals there and these bits and pieces there there's the paint guide and it's got more schemes on the other side which you could, may or may not be historically accurate, but I don't really bother about that. I'll just paint whichever one I think looks the best. After all, it is a hobby. It's meant to be enjoyable. And I'm not going to stress myself out worrying whether that sprocket has got 16 teeth and not 17 or whether one bolt on the engine deck is the wrong size and the wrong shape so there you go there's the destructions a little booklet 32 pages tells you what you're doing and what you're not doing there's the screw call outs it's got some photo etch as well lots of screws lots of pins all that kind of stuff the road wheels sprockets idlers etc 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 individual track links and they've all got metal pins so that looks like it might be fun yeah so that's it basically I'm gonna crack on with this I've had a little look inside uh, that piece there of the turret is all one piece and that's the second piece 
so and that bit will be underneath so that it should in theory look pretty tasty with no seams uh, it's a two piece barrel but what I'm planning to do is I've seen a metal one piece for a remote control tank 1 16th Tiger on eBay I might buy it and just see if I can get it to fit uh, yeah that's it basically so that's what the box looks like I bought some little uh, aftermarkets extra bits to go with it there's my 116th Commander from Classy Hobby that don't look too bad, I've had a little look inside, looks pretty good go away, that's my phone and what I found was this add-on zimmer it but it's like rubber it stretches it's meant for uh, are they called hang long or something remote control tanks it's meant down as labeled for that but I've tried that a little bit on the um, side of the hole for this hobby boss one and the fit is really good might need a little bit of trimming but that that will save messing about with whatever you would use to try and make your own zimmer it that's got the punch out for all the cables and what have you that go on the side yeah it's got all of it here wrap around for the turret for the front around the uh, gun mantlet etc and on the back plate might need a little bit of fiddling about but I'll give it a go it's quite thick quite heavy that will save a bit of if I can keep it all together in the bag that is a little bit of messing about put that back in the bag what else did I get oh I've got the uh, obligatory 1 16th metal bucket how cool is that <laughs> it's got to be done it's got to be done I think that's from Dragon Models I think they're called on eBay Welsh I believe and I also got look at these beauties 1 16th copper wire tow cables all metal and brass so they should be pretty good I think so that's those that's also from Dragon Models What else did I get, you may ask yourself? Ah, some metal shackles for the front and the back. And I've also got little nuts and bolts that secure them. Some Dragon Models again. I got these I'm not too sure about. Pre-painted 1 16th. Tiger tools, I might, I don't know what 
obviously I'll paint them myself but I thought they might be a bit better than that but hey ho we'll have a look give it a try not sure where they came from might have it on here hey UK Heng Long radio control tank German Tiger accessory set there you go so all that's for radio controlled tanks and hopefully it'll all be alright for this little puppy everything's safe back in its box so this is what the upper hole looks like very big I've already cut down the seams of those so they look like individual skirts rather than all one and of course you can heat it up and bend it for a bit of battle damage it's actually got the jack block if that's what it is already moulded on the front there with a nice bit of uh, detail for the uh, makes it look like proper wood but that's huge and I'll just give you a demonstration of how huge it is by putting it next to my already built 135 Tamiya Tiger and let's have a little look at that oh yeah baby there's the Tiger one all built and there's the upper hull of the one sixteenth it's tiny in comparison I didn't realize it was going to be quite so big <laughs> poor little fritz in there he's thinking WTF I think So that was the upper hole in box A. Put it back. Into the box. So we've got box B, which is the lower hole. And the barrel etc stuff for securing the wheels I think that is the uh, there's the barrel two piece huge lower hole pretty big beast of a thing Hopefully I can do it justice. Let's have a little look at some more. Box D. Well, uh, exhaust shrouds. Oh, look at the size of that sea hook and there's the plastic shackles there what I'm going to try and use the metal ones I bought uh, more stuff for the wheels I see I've, all I've looked at so far has been the upper hole and the lower hole more for the uh, exhaust shrouds and stuff there's the gun mantlet absolutely enormous more for the wheels I think there's the back plate and the front and more for the turret gun 
There's the exhaust shrouds, cupola. There's the jack. You make it up in several pieces. One, one, two, three, four pieces, I think. There's the MG. Two piece MG. And let's see if I can get a one piece on Lion Commander's hatch. There's the uh, tow cables and cleaning rods and the tools, the shovel, fire extinguisher. There's the grill covers, PE, and on the back you got Monster Zimmerit tools. be uh, an interesting build. Put that back. Uh, box F. It's got the turret. Monster turret. Almost as big as my hand. It's pretty big. Two pieces with a moulded on turret bin oh that's interesting I didn't notice that I'm going to have to cut that out if I want to put my figure in there bomber it's got massive weld seams on it you can see nice two pieces all screws together and as usual and as expected John puts it in the box the wrong way around there you go mate turn it round put it in the right way that's all you gotta do bingo Box G, <coughs> box G is quite a. That's got. Let's have a look. The rubber wheels, all the separate, proper bits of rubber that go around the wheels. Pins for the uh, individual track links, and a massive bag. Let's have a little look at one of these. So I've not looked at them yet. I think they're all moulded plastic straight out. Yeah, they look pretty good to me. Straight out, no cleaning. I'm sure the aficionados will spend a month for Sundays filling those uh, ejector pin marks but I won't bother with that that's the bit you'll see and that looks pretty good to me decent size that's my finger so that's about half the size of my finger and there's a whole bag load of them in there as you can see That's box G. No box number for this. This was all loose under a little shroud. Don't know what they are. Wheels. 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 Whatever they are. Turret ring. This was a motorised model, I believe. It's got a uh, a little box in the lower hole for batteries. 
Uh, what's next? Box C. Don't think I've even looked in this one. Oh yes I have. It's got all the running gear. When it comes off, it will have anyway. There you go. More wheels. More wheels. Turn rollers, idlers, whatever they are. All wheels. Final drive covers. Drive sprockets. Huge things. This is going to take some doing, this kit. back and finally you get this little plastic thing which has got on the back those are little bits and bobs screws and nuts and bolts and what have you tells you exactly what they are on the front there and where whereabouts they are behind so uh, yeah, all in all, the £65 that cost me, £65, and that was including delivery. So I would say that's a bargain. And uh, I know people are already saying, oh yeah, but it's not a meal tag, yeah, because it hasn't got this, it hasn't got that. It's lacking this, it's lacking that. Well, hey, 65 quid for a 1 16th Tiger one in my book is a bargain. So that's it. I'm going to put the lid back on, uh, wrap it up. So hopefully, I'm going to make a start on it this weekend if I can. I'm um, off work today, I don't know if I said that at the beginning, I've got a doctor's appointment at 4, that's now 5 to 3, so I'm going to go downstairs, make myself a cup of tea, and then uh, I'm off to the doctor's, so take care buddies, speak to you soon, bye.